to the topic of uh, inverse variation. Here, I have a clone question based on the year 2007, paper 1, SPM. Okay, you are given that Q varies inversely as the cube root of R. And you are also given that the constant is K. Now, like I said, the normal technique, okay, we write Q varies inversely as the cube root of R. And the golden step, therefore, Q equals to K times 1 over cube root of R, where K is a constant. Now, the only thing different in this question is we don't have to find the value of K. We just need to find the relationship between Q and R. You are supposed to show the relationship. Okay. From here, we get Q equals to K. K times 1, K over cube root of R. We write it as R to the power of 1 over 3. 1 over 3 is cube root. 1 over 2 is square root. Remember that. It is very, very simple. This is your answer. This is one of the simplest questions regarding inverse variation. Thank you. Hi. Welcome to another clone question based on inverse variation. So here I have for you a clone question based on the year 2008, paper 1, SPM. Okay, you are given that M varies inversely S N squared. And you are also given that when M equals to 3, N equals to 2. Right? Now you are asked to find the value of n when m equals to 27. Let's see how this is done. Okay, you write down m varies inversely as n squared. The next step, the compulsory step, therefore m equals to k times 1 over n squared where k is a constant. Okay, now we substitute these two values. When m equals to 3 and n equals to 2, we try to find the value of k. m is 3, n is 2. You substitute. 2 squared is 4. You bring it up here and you multiply. 3 times 4 equals to k. And what is k? 12. Okay, now you substitute k equals to 12 here put it here so 12 times 1 is 12 therefore m equals to 12 over n squared okay we have got this okay this is very important now now the next step they give you the value of m to find the value of n so here now, when m equals to 27, we substitute m is 27. 27 equals to 12 over n squared. Bring this up, bring this down. So this is what you get. n squared equals to 12 over 27. Cancel by 3, you get 4 over 9. Sorry, this is written wrongly. Huh? 4 over 9 n is equal to square root of 4 over 9. And what is square root of 4 over 9? 2 over 3. This is your answer. As simple as that. Get it? Thank you.
Hi. Here I have for you another clone question based on the year 2008, based on inverse variation. Okay, let's see how this is done. You are given x times y to the power of 1 over 3 equals k. Which of the following statements are true? You got four statements here. A. X varies directly as a cube of y. B. X varies directly as a cube root of y. C. X varies inversely as the cube root of y. And D. X varies inversely as the cube of y. So which is the correct answer? Let's see. It is very easy. X times y to the power of 1 over 3 equals to k. Okay, let's see. Now, if you look carefully, power 1 over 3 is actually q root. y equals to k. From here, we get this. We bring this down. So what do you get? X is equal to K over cube root of Y. Very straightforward. So from here you get X varies inversely as the cube root of Y. So which is the answer? The answer is C. X varies inversely as the cube root of Y. This is your answer. Very, very simple. Very clear cut. I hope you understand. Thank you.